Are you all ready for a bloodbath? Good, because this is the I Am shootout that I'm going to refer to as the bloodbath. We have five I Ams here. They're all in your monitors. They're all over $300. In fact, the nobles here are $800. So this is not the cheap one. And I was testing them either through the Task MMH8 or I have my uh, Fio X7 Gen 2. And I was doing all my final listings on that, jumping through my playlist, getting my, my layout beautifully filled out. And we're going to talk about them now. And we're going to talk about it from left to right. And at some point, someone will write a comment with the timestamp where I actually blow up. And you don't have to watch any of this video because I'm sure the top voted comment will be, hey, go exactly to this to know what the fuck Zeus is talking about. JVC's H A. Oh, what the hell are you? You're the H A F W O 01. I would like to rant a little bit about why are IAMs named like German transistor parts? They're just, they're never. These are the wizards. Like, okay, I can understand that they're noble wizards. That actual, that sentence makes sense even. But these, H-A-W-O-1, blah, 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 blah. These are the ER-4PTs. These are the SE-535s. These are the wizards. And these are the AF-180s. And it's like, put some style into it. Give me some ether flow or edition S. Aliers. Where are the, I guess the wizards are the only ones that actually... They're the only ones being named like someone cares about how they're named. And they're not just like WD-40. Water, di uh, what was it? Water Displacement Formula Number 40. That's what that actually is. That was was designed for. So getting on to actual sound. And we're going to bounce back and forth because I can't possibly. My brain, just too much cocaine as a baby. I, I didn't know the difference between powder sugar and cocaine. And Wah! We'll talk about detachable wires right now. I want to talk about all the wires right now. We'll get this out of the way first because I feel like I would dwell on that if I didn't. And I kind of want to review all of these at once so that when you know which one is going to fuck them all, it, I could just point at it. This wire for the JVCs is good. This is how this review is going to go, by the way. $300. This is a good wire. I don't like the head on it. Look at that. That's too, that, for as short as it is, and this is a short ass wire in the world of IEMs, because I'm plugged in over here doing my testing and I can't even like lean back. So short wire, giant head. I like the fabric. I like the girls. I like the base, but I digress. Detachable. It's a um, MMXC, just like on the original M1060s, which by the way, they fixed comes off it's got a beautiful indication there to show you left and right it says l on the wire okay wire done let's talk about the edematics and edematic by the way i used to have a pair here now they're on my keychain makes hearing protection like it's really good hearing protection like i wear to concerts and stuff and their wire is nice because it has a short little 90 degree on the end of it it's but that's when the wire stops being nice that's immediately when the wire stops being nice because it's noisy, this is this is one of those uh, microphonics cables that this just moving made this move, and I could hear it moving on my clothes. It's also very stiff, like it's look at it, it looks like vinyl. Let's get that back in there. It's also three of these are absurdly long, and two of them are absurdly short. So this one, the shore cable, and the audio flight cable are all crazy long. They're like, they're long. They're like, like I, I, I could put my player on the floor and still have these in my ear almost. If I was short, I'm not that short. But um, three, five, threes. So wait, wait, detachable, attached permanently, detachable. I believe attached permanently on the nobles, the $800 nobles, $800 nobles. I'm looking at it, I'm like, does this come out? And I started yanking on it. And then I realize there's no indicator for left and right, and it's on the cable. I'm like, oh, shit. That's probably a non-detachable cable on $800 IEMs. And, of course, the audio flies does detach, and it's also an MMXC. And actually, I think it's a... Yeah, it's got a shape to it, so that it actually... This particular cable will lock in and not rotate. 
whereas these will rotate. And I think the shore, yeah, the shores rotate. So that's a little bit of a difference there. So I don't, this is a good cable, just short. This cable, Microphonics, I don't like this feel of this. It comes up into a nice little braid. This thing is huge. This does not need to be here. I thought this was a microphone control. Look at the size of it. And it doesn't, it did, there's nothing on it. It just says ER-4P. And it's too little, all right, why? Especially for these, these are the lightest IMs of the group. Look how small they are if I take the tips off. These are like, I don't even know. What, what's that size? I don't even know. Small, tiny, teeny, teeny tiny these are gigantic by the way one of the first bullet points on the jvc's is giant and heavy and that's because they're made of wood and these are not giant and heavy that's because they're not made of wood and because they're made by a company that makes hearing protection so everything's got to be small and light so why the fuck is this is bigger it's bigger than the actual iem the, the goddamn strain relief middle thing is no reason so you down the shores the shores are uh, an audiophile favorite I keep hearing things about Shore IMs and oh, did you do the five three five? Did you do them? Have you done them? Are you done? Because they're the greatest thing. Everyone loves them, and we're gonna get to the point where I don't love them. But let's look at the wire for now. I like the ninety. God damn it! I like the ninety. You can see it has the Shore amount of strain relief, and I think in my fifteen forty review, which I didn't like the fifteen forties. Love their pads, didn't like them. I went over just how nice the strain relief was. The wire's not bad. It's similar to this, but look how much more bend and flex you can get out of the short cable. That's important. That's important, folks. These are the things that actually matter when you're like out and about. Strain relief to a Y, to more strain relief, to a grabber thing, to smooth things. To now these are like the memory bends, so you have to bend them 100% to match your ear or nothing will work. Now I also, uh, I use two different size tips now because I realized my, I was never getting them to seat properly. And I think it was right ear needs a larger one, left ear needs a slightly smaller one. And the short one, short tips are not, the foam tips are not, um, that company that makes all the foam tips for everybody. These are their own proprietary thing, which means when you squeeze them, they take fuck all forever to reopen. Just forever. And they're so big, that large one is, bigger than the tip of my finger so you gotta squeeze it down and then you gotta wait while it's in your ear you gotta wait this long for it to expand and fill your goddamn ear i'm still waiting i am still i am row gendry is off that boat but i am still waiting for this to expand detaches so yeah okay we're still on cables don't you fall again you prick prick shores that's what they're called now plug that back in ah the Nobles. I actually wrote down that I don't like the wire. It's just okay. This is $800. These are twice the price of these and these and and twice the price of these. And the wire is, I'm sure in here is like magic, you know, silver mined from the caves that the elves used to live in and blah, 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 blah. And it's got a little tiny connector. It just doesn't feel, it's got the little strain relief. It just doesn't feel, actually has no strain relief doesn't feel up to spec for the cost, especially if it's attached. Please tell me if it's attached, because I tried, like, looking that up, and no one can tell me if these are an attached wire or not, or if it'll unplug and there'll be a way to change it. I'm, I'm, I don't own these, so no. No. No, we're good. And then the audio fly on the end here, which, of course, took the quarter inch with it. Only white set. And that's not racist. This is the uh, 90 degree on the end. Goes to a fabric that I just... I could taste how good that fabric is. It's delicious. And it goes from fabric to a very, very small... Here, we'll compare it directly to the things. That is, I'd say, 60% as large as what's on the shores there. So it's very thin, very light very thin very light don't you fall either of course i did that of course i did that you'll also notice none of these have microphones on the like left or right side the jvc's have a replacement no wait the jvc's don't have the cable the shores have a replacement cable in the box here that has a microphone adapter on it 
And also the owner sent me a whole bunch of tips. So here's the Shure microphone cable, which is just a single button and volume control and other things. Other things and stuff. By the way, look at metal box. Maybe we'll get to the boxes at some point, but we're still talking about wires. 48 minute video about wires. Oh, so back to the audio flies. So they go up to this extremely like non-existent angel here, which has no microphonics, by the way, to just like a jellied cover. So this doesn't memory it, <clears throat> but it memories it. And then up, and then their tips, by the way, are also their own proprietary tips. But when you squeeze them, they come back really fast, actually. Faster than... I'm gonna kill myself. Comply! Comply tips! That's what I'm trying to remember the name of. They come back faster than Comply. So the shores are slow as hell, the audio flies are fast, and I actually like how fast they are. Let's move on. Have we talked about the wires now? Are we good? Good. So detachable, attached, detachable, attached, detachable. And not OCD at all. Let's talk about individual headphones now. Oh, let's talk about the, the graph and how this works. The same as on the cheap IEMs, there's five numbers. And people seem to love the number system, but I don't. But I just, when I'm doing five in a row, I need to sort of, you need to have a visual aid or something that could tell you what's better or worse. Trying to do that for headphones would be impossible. But for these tests, there's five values that I give them. Numerical values from zero to 10. Treble. Bass, treble, mid-range, bass, imaging, and width. I'll go over what those are. When I say treble, it's not the amount of treble. It's a combination of amount of treble, quality of treble, and if there's any sibilance, and if it annoys me, and if I... So that number is everything possible about treble in a number. Mid-range, similar, but it's more to do with vocal clarity. So I'll listen to female and male vocalists, and if I think it's lacking or something doesn't feel me right, then I just drop that number down. Assuming everything's a 10. Everything in the world is a 10. And if it gets something fucking wrong, it's a nine. And if it annoys me, it's an eight. And if it really fucking annoys me, it's a seven. And if anything got to six, nothing on this got sixes. We're lucky about that. I was, I was hoping no some things got close, but nothing actually touched six. Bass, again, it's there's a certain amount of low end I expect from an IM because it's attached, it's sealed to your ear. And if it's lacking in that, lower number. If it sounds like absolute horse shit, lower number. If it's just bass, so much of it you want to puke, lower number. So when things work out, those numbers don't come down. Imaging and width is the real cru cru crux of this situation. It's the reason I started doing the numbers because Headphones. Look at headphones. See headphones? Let's put them the right way. Put on headphones, and there's two values that no measurement graph on Earth will tell you about. There's imaging and width, and width can be referred to as soundstage. And what I consider, and this is only for me, I don't know if I'm the only one that explains it like this, but imaging is the accuracy that you could depict sounds anywhere along the sound stage. So sound stage is narrow. It sounds like things are coming from your left and right and that's it. My X1's over there, the, these 9500s have a pretty narrow sound stage. It's very clear, but it's very narrow. And here's where the sounds end. My X1's sound like they're this wide. The issue comes with when things get wider, the resolution between all the sounds and if something sounds like it's moving from left to right, instead of sounding like it's here, the entire time, it just goes left, middle, right, that's imaging. And I had to really explain that because when I do IMs like this, those two things, how wide it sounds and how accurate it is across the imaging, across the soundstage, that's the biggest difference. You could have perfect sound if it doesn't ever sound wide and it doesn't ever you know, it doesn't image properly, why bother? These JVCs get a seven in imaging, which means I was listening to something and I heard it from the center and that's fine. You hear someone singing, it's usually from the center. Then there was like a drum on the left and then drum center and then left and then right. And then there's something else, middle. There, there's big gaps occurred where there was nothing happening here. It was always right or left or center. Nothing ever spread out and moved correctly. 
imaging 7 on the JVCs. However, they do got an 8 in width, and that means it's a little bit wider sounding than, than just straight in my ears. Bass. Now, these are wood, like legit wood, like they're made of a piece of... I don't even know how absurdly fine crafted the wood is in there, but it's a lot. Look at all the little vent holes over here. A lot going into these. However, the base is a 9. A 9. You know how hard it is to get a 9 on this list? In this table with these competitors, a 9? In fact, it's the, no, the Nobles also get a 9 in base, but we'll talk about those. So these got a 9 in low end, and that basically meant when I put on the Dread soundtrack, I went, oh shit, and I wrote down Dread bass. When I make these lists, by the way, I just sit here listening for 40... This is the, last, the final listens are about 45 minutes long each. And I just sit here and I was dicking around with my uh, Fio X7. Just, you know, next. Mm -hmm. Skip forward. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I'm just, as I'm having thoughts, I'm writing them down on the paper. So the first thought was, uh, detachable cable short is a dumb tip. The tip's dumb. I don't like the fact that it's a straight tip. Everything else is 90 except for this one on the Nobles. But the Noble tip is really short, so it's okay. They're giant and heavy. They have a slight treble brightness. So the JVCs have a slightly brighter treble than I would like it doesn't hurt but then it was it just bothered me enough that these got a seven in treble out of ten. Seven. Seven. that's we're talking about three hundred dollar we're not talking about like thirty dollar IMs we're like oh it's okay if it doesn't sound good who cares so these got a seven out of ten eight out of ten mid-range nine out of ten base seven imaging and eight width so if you want to look at those numbers there that's what that looks like there. That's what that looks like there. Real wood, well indicated. Dat base, annoying lack of imaging. Because like I was saying, imaging is how well you could delineate. And these sounded good enough that it should, if it just did a little bit more than that, I could praise them a bit. But they didn't, so I can't. So who buys these? When do you buy these? Uh, if you have $300 and you need... Wood IMs? There you go. These aren't really available. These are full-blown Japanese import. So I found the treble slightly bright, marked them off points of that, and I gave them eight mid-range because the vocals really didn't get bothered by the the insanely good bass. Doesn't bother doesn't bother mid-range. The lack of highs can, but it didn't in this case. So let's move on, and I'll, I'll bounce back and forth because I'm I have to. These etymotics, which I don't know if I mentioned it already, I may have mentioned in an earlier take, they make hearing protection. So this basically looks like their hearing protection. It's got the triple thing. I went through all the different tips. Perhaps we could open up their case. Their case is a bit like pro. Like that feels like something you'd get if you joined, I don't know. Can I put this in there? Look at that. Look at that thing. That, that's very custom, and you can run the wires through here, and there's loops and dingle, and that's, that's a flying ship from some Sega game. And it comes with, of course, a quarter-inch adapter. It's presented well. Of course, you don't carry that around. You carry this around, which is a cute little pouch, which comes with this adapter, which is a high-impedance adapter. So if you have a really powerful amp, you could dim that down. It also came with these, which I did not try to put in my ear, and I think these are custom for the owner. So I'm not going to bother. So he ordered custom things made in China. Little clip. I like the bag. It's got a good feel to it. This is the same material they make uh, 598 clothes back things out of. You want to know what the first thing I wrote on that paper is about these? Inner ear violation! Exclamation mark. Because they are very small and they're very long. And even with these tips on them, they went so far... They have to go. Have to go. Not I put them in. They have to go so far into my head, it almost felt like sexually violating my brain. It was real weird. It was like, oh yeah, get in so deep. To the point where this is hitting the outside of my ear. So that's how deep that was going in. So deep. Just going in so deep. And it was uncomfortable. These fit like IEMs. They're heavy 
and they hung there and this wire thing is big, but they fit like I am. And these don't feel, these feel like you are putting hearing protection in because you're about to stand next to a 30 kiloton blast of dynamite because that's what Edematic does. Here's your indicator, big red circle and a black circle, even though the plastic is black, so they really need to make a circle on that, but they did it anyway. You got some, some serial numbers in the bottom. It's it feels like Edematic Research just decided to make them one day. Like, yeah, let's just make them so they make sound instead of just blocking it. I'm not against them, but we'll have to go over things. Noisy cable attached stiff and long. I already went over the cable stuff. It has harmonics, pro it has uh, microphonics problems. Not up here. It was actually down here. Great 90, I'd written that. Clean sound. I wrote that. I wrote clean sound and then I put an arrow to great detail. Because, and I, I listened to these in a strange order. I'm not going to say what the order was yet, but I listened to them out of order, so I went back and changed some numbers. But clean sound basically means neutrality. Neutrality in tone. They don't sound like these I would consider bassy IMs. They're just, the bass is why you show up for the day. Like, I'm here to hear the bass. Boom. When I say clean sound, it's a bit further back. Not muddy at all. Not skewed in any sort of, it's not super trebly or super low end, but it's just neutral. Ish. I'm going to say ish. Which I guess for etymonic research feels all right. Uh, lacking in bass was my big concern. So I went from these, which are bass monsters, to these, which are like, I had to put them in my ear, like upside down, and just get to make sure that seal was perfect to try to hear bass, and then it was lacking. It wasn't terrible, but it gets a seven. Treble, nine. The detail I was hearing out of these was the type of stuff that you're like, oh, wow. If this table, nine again, bass in those nine, treble on these nine, what was I hear? I heard, I heard something. I heard something in a song that these are so far into my brain that it was like, oh wow, I've never heard that before. But that's all it did. That was the only benefit of these, of this I am. They weren't that comfortable. They're light, but they're noisy. They're not that comfortable. Treble nine, mid-range again, mid-range vocals eight. Can't knock them. Bass is lacking. The imaging and width, here's the interesting part, an eight and an eight. That's not bad. That is a not bad amount. Because that means you're getting a little more acknowledgement of sounds between the two. And it's still going, it's still not out there. The Fio F5s that are reviewed in number five, those have soundstage. Those have width. Those are like, wow. Putting those down, moving on. Again, we'll bounce back. This is where the hate comments come in. If whatever the timestamp, if you just want to, for sharing on the internet, timestamp this in the comments and say, this is the part where he fucking murders Shore IAMs. Here we are. Shore 535s. $400. They were more. I found them for more. found them for less. We discussed the cable. I have done previously a set of Shores, and I was just like, I think they're broken. And I didn't want to really talk about them because I didn't like them at all. And I'm, it was earlier days of Zeos. And now I'm pretty established. So when I say I fucking don't like these, you could all listen. And then you could hate me. Detachable extra cable with a mic. Fine. Fit decent. Let's start with the good things. They fit decently. Again, we have those retardedly slow acting foam. It finally came back. So they fit decent, they spin around, you get them up in your ear. I had a hard time the very first time I put shores in, but you have to bend this. So per it's so stiff. There's no give. Like at least the audio fly here has give and it will sort of contour whatever you need it to do. Same thing with this. Look, the nobles will just give. This is also a much shorter thing. But these are hardened. These might as well just be steel. Like you should have to go to a factory where they measure that after you've perfectly fit it and then they craft it out of titanium so they fit after you dick with them for a long time all the uh, stone tips all my foam tips all the strain relief the first thing i wrote sound that talks about sound is less exciting sound and that was after doing all of these and i went back and forth and so 
You put these in after either these or these, and you're bored to tears. And I've been bored to tears on the Shore 1540s, so maybe this is actually just the house sound to Shore, and I don't like it. But I love the the 840s, which are the $200 clothes backs, because I still had, I was excited to hear the detail. The problem with this is, yes, there's a less exciting sound, but treble, seven, treble, not great, and there's siblings. Mid-range, the vocals, seven. And I, do I go over why? I don't even think I go over why, because bass lacks impact, seven. Seven, 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 jackpot. Except not jackpot, because this is a Z review. And Sorry, I'm not sure. However, however, so back, imaging only, why? Imaging only, why? After going through the list and I got to these, I was not impressed with the sound. I didn't like the way the treble worked and the sibling, there was some sibilance in there. The bass lacked, but wait a second, what's that? Is that, yes it is. It's amazing fucking imaging. It, it's things not just happening here and then blurry in the center. It was all over the place. It was actually happening in like a perfect swath of sound. It wasn't just here and here. It was all over the place. Nine. Gets a fucking nine for imaging. And it gets an eight for width, which I have to really, I, I've held back on the, the numbers for imaging and width because they really, you'd have to really impress me to get anything higher than like an eight or a nine. So, that's what people who love... Okay. That's what people who love Shore IEMs, when they're arguing about how they're so great, it's because they actually image and have width compared to the other ones. So, that's basically all I could say that's nice about these Shores. They fit okay. They're $400. They have a detachable cable. They're not... The fact that they're all sevens on the line, by the way, doesn't mean they're neutral. These are more neutral than these. These, their house sound is just... Bleh. Bleh. So, sorry, everyone who loves Shore 535s and owns them and is now just fucking writing hate mail. All the hate mail! I just... They do... On this, you have never sat down with this table and done this test, unless you have, in which case, tell me about it in the comments. I want to know what you compared against and why you like them. This is the two-way street. You're watching me, but I read all the comments, all of the comments. And I will not let you affect my opinion, but I want to know. Some people juggle geese. Let's move right up to the nobles. Did I talk about the Shores case? Oh, here. Here's a Shores case, by the way. I'm okay with this. I don't know what that's for. I think you're supposed to clip something in there. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's just okay. It's just okay. Metal box. The Nobles. The Nobles come with a bag. Like $30 IMs come with a bag. Now, they do come in a Pelican case. But as you know from the last review, the last uh, shootout, number five, a cheaper set comes with a Pelican case. Also comes with a fake metal card because it's actually just plastic here's how you pick your tips which i think that's pretty badass that is a thin sheet of actual stainless steel with all the tips on there i approve i approve highly i approve highly this noble um what else did i write permanent cable short fidgety fit we'll get to comes with cock rings i wrote cock rings because why the fuck did it come with cock rings it's, it's i what are you doing what are these for? Why do I have them? Put them back in there. So it comes with a Pelican case and, for some reason, a little shitty bag that's worth like five cents to carry around your $800. I guess no one will steal them if I think they're cheap. Fit and finish. And these are the wizards and they have a custom, you know, whatever, bejeweled back. And oh, everyone goes nuts from nobles. Fidgety fit, and I mean fidgety, and I had this problem before, and I thought I've worked it out by changing the size of the tips, but some IMs just don't fit 
in my ear. Like I put these tips on, I've ripped these tips off. This, by the way, it's a dual port system there to fire into this. Again, and this is their own foam and it's not so bad. It comes up, it comes, it's basically a comply, just their own comply, because why would they pay comply to do that? Look at it comes back up nice. Fidgety Fit, I had to listen to these for the entire length of their stay, and they've been here a while, holding the bottom of them. The only time they didn't have to do that is when I like let the, the foam, it had to le lean my head back and push it, and then pull the wire down slightly, and then they'd fit fine for about a minute and a half. And that's how I had to review these nobles. So, take that. Also, and I'm not sure if, I'm pretty sure the owner sent it to me with a slight distortion noise in the right channel, but it was annoying the piss, piss out of me and it was getting worse and worse as I was using them. So just a note, uh, $800 and there's definitely like a crunchy sound in the right one. And I'm just like, why? And it's not the wire connection and there's nothing to do about it. Just thought I'd write that in there because none of these other ones that are used had any problems. Numbers on this, numbers in this pair. It had an 8 in treble, and I dropped it to a 7. I dropped the treble on an $800 pair of Nobles to 7. The mid-range vocals, 8. The bass, 9. That sound familiar? That's the exact same as the $300 JVCs. Now again, I'm not saying that they're the same qualities, but they are the skewed in the same way. Dull sound. That's that was my that's the last note on that. That was after all the listening and going back, and the last thing I listened to before I started the camera was these, and I added the words dull sound. Dull. Now these are dull, and I'm like, meh, but these also are just they don't do it for me. They just don't sound like an eight hundred dollar set of premium you know I think these were mass drops, by the way, the wizards. I'm not hundred percent sure, but they didn't, they didn't do, they didn't make go. They come a cock rings, uh, decent, unimpressive highs. How's that for a bullet point you could put on their website, Noble? They have decent, yet unimpressive highs. And because of that is why I dropped it to a seven from an eight. Because decent highs, but you're talking about $800, you should not have decent highs. You should have fucking tremendously crystalline, but not sibilant highs that just massage my prostate through my ear hole. And they don't. They don't have that. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight. So imaging seven with eight. This is an exact match for the JVCs. Everything I said about the JVCs, I copy it over for these. The only, in fact, the nines are both in bass, and these have that beautiful woody sound. And the oh, and the bullet point I wrote here was it sound like I'm inside a kick drum. If you get the seal right, and again, it was a pain in the dick on my... It sounded like I was sitting inside it and the whole thing was hitting me in the face. Great. I love that feeling. Because that's what IMs do great. They put you inside of it. They lock you in there and you can't escape. But that's it. That was all they could do. That really, really, really impressed me. By the way, all of these on the left were sent to me by fans like you, because you wanted me to review them. This was the only set sent to me by the company. And this was the only set that I got them. And this was the only set that I emailed them back and was like, now sell me these. And they're like, sure. Not that sure, but sure. So here we're gonna take the audio fly case. And I'm gonna write Zeos on it in a permanent marker because I own these. And you're about to you're about to get hit in the face with the most biased sounding bullshit review of anything ever on this channel. Are you ready? Are you fucking ready? Mark your calendars ladies and gentlemen because this is the day where either Zeos sold out or sold you audio flies. You can call me a shill or whatever fuck you want, I don't care. Are you ready for the numbers? Are you all ready for the numbers? for the AudioFly AF-180s. Keeping in mind that I bought them after the first listen and that I don't even need IEMs. Are you ready? Treble, 10. 
Mid-range vocals, 9. Bass, 10. Imaging, 10 with 10. Fuck you! Fuck you, Australia, because that's where these are from. And I have a little bit of a bias because I like Australian things because my car is Australian. But I've never heard of Audiofly. It sounded like one of those companies that sends me emails constantly. It's like, hey, look at our $31 Bluetooth headphones with lights everywhere. It's like, oh, that's nice. You know, happy, happy ear. It'll just be called happy ear. That's the name of companies that send me shit like that. So Audiofly, I'd never heard of. And I'm not super into the IM scene, but I've never heard them mentioned. When, before I was banned from our headphones and our Audiofile, I was there all the time, just reading things, just reading. I don't go there anymore anymore. Fuck it. But this name never popped up. And I'm putting that sticker somewhere nice on my car, maybe. And that comes with every set. First of all, I like the box. Look at this box. This is a nice box. That's a cloth box. It comes in here. Here's the Comply Tips instructions, and you get a free registration. This actually comes with Comply Tips, which I have on there now. And it comes with the best, again, it's the biggest case. So, but if you're buying $500 and these are five fucking hundred dollars and I don't fucking need them because I've got these. Pull these out too. I wasn't going to ever pull these. I promised you in the video of, of these that they wouldn't need, fucking magnets, bro. How do they work? That I would never pull them out during an IEM review because it wouldn't be fair. And now it's fair. So here's the different tips you get here. You get a little more tips here. You get the, the triple flange or single flange. And you got an airplane adapter because who gives a shit? And a little cleaning thing for cleaning things. And you can put things back here. And I love this. The bottom of this case is so fucking beautiful. I was actually using this case for my eye signs because it's the best case that's ever been. That ever was and ever will be in Queen of the Seven Kingdoms, blah, blah, blah. We should talk about them, and, and you guys can you 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 sit here and hang out because I'm not about to tell you that these are better than the eye signs or the eye signs are better than these because there's a completely different there's a whole thing going on that I'm about to get into. Now I can stop hiding the paper because I don't want you guys to read the numbers before I uh, got to them. I labeled them first first thing white knights, and I don't know because they're the only white ones here. That seems again racist. Apologize. I will color them in red, and then the Indians will get on my case. Well, Native Americans. Fuck! I'm going to prison. Audiofly AF-180s. Sent to me. Immediately purchased. Now I own them. Fuck you. So here comes the bias review. Perfect fit. Now, I've done... This is the sixth one of these IM shootouts, and I've listened to more IMs than I've had shootouts with. They never quite fit. Like, I put them in and I can go for walks with them like I usually do to test because I take them out and you use them like an IM. That's how you that's how you test. You don't just sit here and do it. And I put these in and I don't know what it is about this particular shape versus, let's say, well, let's get the, the exact opposite would be the shore. So, wh what's, what, what is, is that, wait, no, yes, yes, that's, see, that's over the ear and left. And that's right, so let's not do that one. So that's over the ear, and, and, and something about the way these are designed, because they look fucking almost perfectly the same as the Shores, yet these are the most perfect fitting IEMs I've ever worn. Like I didn't have to, like I don't have to touch them. You know how hard that is for me to say, to, to I put them in and they never get touched for hours, three, four, hours of wearing them. Never even wiggle them in my ears. Nothing. Nothing. There's a big fucking arrow that says perfect fit. So I think that's part of the reason I was so excited by them at first. So okay. Because, you know, no one wants to sit on a cactus all day. I love this chair. It's super comfortable. Since it's made of a cactus, so it sort of sucks. So perfect fit's a good start. Detachable cable. That's fine. Although it has that weird notch that keeps from rotating, unlike the shores. Needs high gain. Now, I was testing all this sh stuff. I was going to say shit. I'll say shit again. I was testing all this shit out with the new and improved Mark X7 Mark II, right? So, it has a beautiful display of the volume in 
numbers. And then here you pull down, you can get to the high and low gain settings. And I tested all of these, all of these on low gain, except for these. These were low gain between 70 and 85. That was, that was where these needed to be. And I switched to these, and these are quad driver, which I'm sure some of those are also quad driver. I just didn't write down if they are quad driver. But high gain, 90 to 95, or 85 to 95. So more power, need more power, need it. You can probably get to the very edge of your, of your normal phone will probably power these, but power. They also have amazing isolation, and isolation comes from the, the tips, which are complies in this case, and how the, the actual unit passes through sound. I love how it's clear, by the way, and you could just see the things going on inside of it. Oh, there's the indicator. It's a white R and a white L, which I might... Do I get a magic marker in color they didn't write now? They're $500 a pair, and I think I'm going to do this because I'm Zeos, and this is what Zeos does. Zeos is going to give that an R. And we're going to give the left side an L in blue. All those years of architecture paying off. All the art classes. Okay, so now there's a red and blue R and L, which makes it a lot easier to see, and I'm glad I did that on camera. Amazing isolation. If you go to my other channel, and I'll, Future Zeos, link the video where you're at the car show in Hampton Bays. Because I had my crazy uh, Superlux microphone, and I was monitoring that trip with these. I put these in, and all of a sudden a car show disappears. And I'm talking about loud, like muscle car, car show. And I was just listening to the microphones, and it was fucking amazing. You know why? Uh, tens, except for that nine. Which I, the reason I gave the mid-range vocals a nine was because I don't know, I couldn't, I don't think I'm the person to tell you if it's if vocals are perfect. I'm, I, they were as close as I think I've ever heard in an IEM, but I couldn't give it straight tens down the line, and that was the only place I could just, just deduct. So I feel like I'm not fully being a piece of shit. Imaging is perfect. Creamy, full vocals. I wrote creamy, and I don't know why, but I wrote it, and then I just read it to you. So amazing isolation, creamy, full vocals. Imaging is perfect. We talked about imaging. We talked about how the Shores had imaging, but the Shores had imaging that was a nine, and this has imaging that's a fucking 10. This is stacks level imaging. This is better than the Odyssey iSign imaging. This is dumb. These are dumb. Bass is perfect. Warm, fast, and correct. It wasn't, you don't put these on and go, oh, these have a lot of bass. You don't put these on and go, oh, these have very accurate bass, but it's lacking a little. Nothing is wrong with the bass. Nothing is wrong with the bass. I kept changing tracks. Like, I'll find a track where I know the low end, like by heart, and it'll be, be a little off. And it's never, it sounds like the bass you'd get in a, you can't even get in a perfect room. How about that? It's probably what I would strive if I had a trillion dollars and I wanted my speaker set up to have amazing bass. You listen to these first and you take them out and you listen to that song in the room. And if you could ever get within 75% of that, you're doing well. Depth of sound. That's something I didn't write for any of these others. And it exists somewhere in the midst of like imaging where yes, you hear this, but is there this too? And that's super hard to put a finger on. It's another reason why I don't I don't actually give a shit about uh, measurement graphs. People are always comparing measurement graphs and saying, look, look, this one is the same as this one, but there's a little bit. They're not doing even close to the amount. That's like reading a goddamn chart on the horsepower and torque of a car and then comparing it to another horsepower. And, oh, this car is obviously. Well, what does it have any seats? Is it literally on fire? Because it could and be on fire. There's so much more that goes into it than just fucking what you could read in a chart. Because these might measure exactly the same as something else in this table, but that that depth of things are in front and behind, I've only heard a few times. Stacks, my stacks over there will do it. And it gets a bullet point. It gets a bullet point. And that has part partly to do with the fucking imaging and soundstage width. Both being tens, tens, 
fucking tens. That means the sound stage goes beyond. Things sound like they're far away. If someone's tapping, it's just, oh, that's away. And then the imaging where it's perfect between it, that's impossible. These are impossible to fucking happen, all right? I hope these are still for sale because it might be one of those situations where I review something. Say it is literally Jesus of Nazareth has come back in, in the form of IMs and you can put them in your ears and just it doesn't exist. All right, this bullet point. I wrote near the end of the testing, and I wrote fucking tears, Seven Devils. I was listening to Seven Devils from Florence and the Machine, and I actually started crying a little bit, just a little bit, and I've cried, I've talked about me being a little bitch pussy and crying about it. But yeah, and that crying has to associate with the last bullet point, which is no volume limit. And that was the reason that I finally gave the treble. The treble was the last thing I filled in here. I, I wrote, basically, imaging got a 10 as soon as I started the review. And then I did bass, nothing, 10. And then vocals, I gave the nine. I'm like, it's gotta be nine. And then I, with, it's a 10, it's a fucking 10. And then I waited, and when I listened to, cause let me give you a clue, Florence the Machine is not well recorded. It's not. It's actually pretty poorly recorded, but the songs are amazing. And I wish they would, someone would go into the production studio and beat them to death and record again. But I had Seven Devils playing loud, loud enough to bring me to tears, and it didn't hurt 10 on treble. So, they're $500 a pair. I was hoping I would never come to a set of IEMs that I actually, like, cared about as much as these, because that means that all those cheap $30 ones that I, I really like, or the Mezes for 70, there was the original set that I can never remember the name of, the Mezes for 70, and the, uh, actually, what the hell else is there? What else do I really love? Like those Fios have great width. Nine in the width. I love them. Those Fio F5s are great. But nothing is this. So these fucking win by a landslide over all this other, all this other stuff happening. These all had their points. Up until I started reviewing this, these all had their points and it was a balanced game. And then it doesn't matter. So now these are going to have to go and disappear from my memory. I'm going to have to drink a little bleach. And the, oh, the reason that the eye signs are out is because we're back to that scenario, which is which one's better. And now we have to ask ourselves, well, do you want open or do you want closed? Because I can't do what I can do with these with these, and I can't do what I could do with these with these. I've actually driven my car with the eye signs in because if you keep the volume low, you hear everything. They're open. They're an open set of planar headphones that don't feel awkward. That sounds better than the fucking radio of my Corolla. And it's just like, oh yeah, this is fine. I usually detest when people put IEMs in and drive around. Because they're all sealed and you can't hear the me beeping at you. But these are a special case because they literally don't exist. I can hear as well right now with nothing in my ears as I can with those. And these have amazing isolation. And when I go to a show and I want to do monitoring, these are the ones I'm doing it with. I want to shut off the world. I'm gonna pull out the audio flies. If I want to exist in the world and just have background music, I'm gonna pull out the eye signs. So I got both of them. You know that whole, everyone asks in the comments all the fucking time and no one else knows about it because it's always months after the review. Hey Zeos, if you were trapped in a desert island and you can only have one headphone. Well, if I was trapped in a desert island, I can only have one IEM. Honestly, it'd be these, simply because I want to hear when the tiger's coming to fucking kill me. But if there were no tigers, and there was just annoying birds, here you go. So, Audiofly, you ain't never heard of them. I ain't never heard of them. Now you heard of them. And they just fucking swept this. So, that's it. Links to everything in the description, and, uh, oh, I am streaming on Twitch twice a week. I think it's twice a week. I've only done it twice, so I don't know if I keep doing that. It'll be twice a week, so there's a Twitch link will now be permanently in the description of the video. So follow on that if you want to know when it's happening. It's usually Wednesdays and on the weekend one day or, or not. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But also, uh, Patreon in the upper right-hand corner uh, pays for me to return this stuff. Or insured, and I have to insure like like nobles. It's probably a small package. And it didn't pay. I, I try to use not that money to buy things. But if I need to buy them for the channel, then I buy them. And actually, those were sent to me by the company. So I don't know why I pointed to those. Did I buy for the channel recently? Nope, those were sent to me too. Shit! 
There's no reason to join the Patreon. Oh, God. I'll think of another reason. Actually, the auctions are coming up. If, and I have a couple. I got the triple driver. The triple driver one mores are going up for auction. And, of course, it's a zero start auction. So at the beginning of every month for 10 days, there's an auction. Just get rid of the stuff that I've purchased to review. And those are up. That's all I could say. You tried, guys. But now I know that you haven't tried hard enough. Next time.